So hey everybody, it's TR back with another truck camper renovation project. Today we're going to start working on the bubble windows. The bubble windows are really the, the primary premier feature of this rig. I mean, they make it stand out from all the other truck campers. But I was rooting around up in here once I got everything out of here, except, you know, the sleeping bag and some other stuff. And let me show you what I found. I was expecting something like this, to be honest with you. So you can see here, this has been leaking. Okay, and this is rotten. So I think we got a leak right here. Outside, this is rotten. Can you see that? I know the, the light's not great. But that's all rotten down in here. Okay. So I was expecting to find rot. It's a 27-year-old camper. These bubble windows, as cool as they are, and as well-sealed as they were when it came out of the factory, that was 27 years ago. So just from looking at the condition of the lap sealing and all the seams, I can see that it's old and tired. And the plan is to go through and refresh as much of that as I possibly can. So we're going to go get these windows out and start digging into this corner. We're probably going to have to strip a little bit of the siding off uh, to get down in there and figure out where the rod is. But uh, it's going to be a job and I'm prepared. So let's go. So I'll have to move my car here. But first, what we have to do is we're going to pull all this seam out, all the seam covers out okay and then try to get all the individual windows out so we're gonna start on the other side over there where it's leaking so it's about right here where the leak is there's an actual hole through the siding right there and one that's been patched here you can see this corners all open I'd be willing to bet you that this corner got hit at some point it doesn't look bent, but it looks scratched, scratched and scraped over here. So, and somebody tried to silicone it, and the silicone has failed, of course. So, we'll get started on these windows. Check back in with you in just a bit. So I want to point out that I'm taking my time removing these trim strips because I'm going to try to reuse them if I can. If not, I'll have to buy new ones, but we'll see. This has been leaking here. I actually found water trapped here when I took this one off. But what I'm going to show you here is how I'm getting these out. These fill strips are just destroyed. They're so brittle. They're almost not coming out. So I try to get underneath it. And then I try to get a hold of it like this oh, we've got the metal there there's a metal there it is you can see they're so brittle they're just not coming out Then it's just a matter of pulling out these screws. Oops, I forgot to number those. I've been numbering all the parts. So I can reuse them if I can. I mean, now you notice how I'm kind of staggering the numbers? That'll help me get the strip back in in the same spot. I might actually want to replace these so I can move the screw holes, but we'll see down the road. But for now, I'm going to try to save them. I've got to be honest with you, it's feeling pretty rotten back here. Now 
Now look at this. This lap sealant's been in place for 27 years, and it's still just as flexible as could be. However, it had moved and shrank in spots, and a lot of, I think, a pretty good leak. Now it feels pretty firm over here. It's a little sketchy right in there, and then really sketchy over there on that other corner. So I'm going to sit here and uh, keep working on this, and uh, I'll check back with the when I get the windows ready to come out. <laughs> Is your next step from looking up? One thing I just noticed is there's probably twice as many screws in this side as there is on the other side. And uh, that might explain why it leaked. Yeah, that was really loose, so it's probably leaking. plenty of sealing on that one. Oh well we got a busted window here. There's a staple in it. So this window's stapled in. I'm gonna go and be very very careful like I mentioned <clears throat> and start getting these staples out and try not to break these windows. I'll check in with you in a bit. They're awful old and I'm quite concerned. Alright so I got this window out. It came out pretty good. There's no real cracks. There's one crack in the corner on this window over here. But they look pretty good. I'm going to take and clean them and uh, polish them all up, make them all like new, and put them back in. But, um, and then something else I'm going to do is make some pads, some blanket pads, to put in the cavity to help with insulation. Because you get all this great insulation in the rest of the coach, but then you have no insulation up here. And that's where you sleep, by the way. So that's going to make it a little bit colder. But, with all that said, they came out okay. Uh, there'll be a future episode of me polishing these up. But, I'm going to get back to it and see if I can get the rest of these out. Oh, I was going to show you one thing, just a minute. Well, this corner's pretty rotten. You can see here that this wood is all rotted here. Okay, it's all soaked, waterlogged. Looks like it's probably soaked and wet there. I'm going to have to pull this tin off the bottom here probably from here down so I can get a look at this and see what's going on in this corner I'm hoping I can just peel this tin back to get in here to work on this without bending it that's gonna be the trick it's already bent right there I'm probably gonna have to pull that window out so I've got this crazy idea that I've been floating in my head here since I started working on this besides the fact that I've got all this plant material down my back <laughs> there we go about reskinning this. Well, I'd rather not. I'd rather not do that. Um, but I might have a hard time finding this uh, siding, this aluminum siding, to replace any pieces that might need to be replaced. Lots, of, lots of noise. Lots of lawnmower noise. So I'll check with it later. see here that it's been holding water sitting on this uh, tin here this here is still wet I mean this is just dripping wet so I'm gonna get some gloves and get rid of that insulation and that my friends is where the video ended well 
I guess I ran out of battery. I didn't realize the camera wasn't recording. But I only worked a few more minutes taking apart the front. And once I got into it and realized that there was a lot more there than I wanted to tackle in the driveway, uh, I decided to move it around the back of the house here and start to tear into it a little bit more seriously. And yeah, there's a lot of damage, particularly around the front. I'm giving you a little preview here of the next episode of uh, me getting the skin started to be taken off. Um, it was quite the process to get there, but as you see here, the water damage at the front is pretty bad. You can All the structure is gonna have to be replaced from the front of the camper all the way up to the corner. That whole uh, piece of the bottom of it is completely rotted. The top looks okay, uh, but I'm probably going to go ahead and replace some of the wood. I might do a little bit of re-engineering. Uh, they used like 1x4s to, for the support, and I'm going to try to see if I can uh, maybe re-engineer that and use some heavier lumber, but we'll be looking into that in a future episode as well. So if you found value in this video, give me that thumbs up. I always greatly appreciate those. It helps the video get ranked up by uh, YouTube, and more people will get to see it. If you're not subscribed, be sure and subscribe. I've got a lot of videos still to come on this camper renovation. Uh, hopefully it'll help you with your camper renovation. If you get into an old camper like this, it might also give you an idea of what to expect because a 27 year old camper, you're gonna find water rot. It's just the way it is. You can support the channel by visiting my Amazon store. There's a link in the description below. And that link takes you to a specific storefront that I've set up just for my camper renovation. Remember, as an Amazon affiliate, I get a small commission, but you pay the same price every little bit. Well, that'll have to do it. Thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Until we get together for another truck camper renovation video, peace.